Uh, hi, Steve. Hi, Vesna. I wanted to ask you, what do you like about the artworks that you're making right now? Uh, thank you. Um, I suppose, generally, I'm pretty happy with how my artistic journey is going. Um, the work I'm producing right now tends to be, well, the last few paintings and probably the next couple will be large florals. The one behind me is one metre by one metre. I found that to be quite a satisfying size to paint on. It does take a bit longer uh, to paint a larger painting, obviously, but it's the impact that that visually has when you finish painting it gives me quite a lot of satisfaction. The other thing I'd say as well is that in terms of, um, you know, what do you, you like about the way that you paint now, I've, I've really enjoyed the process. So it takes quite a long time. Painting behind um, is, is going to be a sort of 70 or 80 hour painting. I've probably got another 20 hours to go on it. Um, and you really kind of get lost in the process. There are parts of the process where you just go, oh, no, it's not, it's not how I want it to be. But I haven't spoken to an artist who doesn't have that feeling once in a while. So I know I'm not alone. And uh, so there's really two parts, I suppose, in terms of what you like about the artworks you produce now. The first part is the process. And I think it's healthy for any artist to just remind themselves once in a while um, about the value of the process and to, to learn how to uh, fall in love again with it. Uh, and I, I think that's a nice thing. You know, it's back to that. You in the studio, maybe some music. You're just lost in the moment, doing your bit of artwork. And that, as a moment, is is a is a lovely thing. Uh, so I'm not thinking about deadlines. I'm not thinking about the business side of coming that comes with being an artist. I'm just thinking about doing the work and enjoying it. So that's a big part of um, what I like about what I'm doing now. And I also uh, take satisfaction with the outcome. Uh, sometimes you know it works better than others, and you you're always learning. You're always kind of thinking about how you might improve things but you know if the outcome's how you want it to be and what i would say about oil paints is that you can just keep going until it is how you want it to be and how you imagine it to be <laughs> then then that's that's uh, satisfying as well it's also very satisfying if other people like it um so there's the outcome side of it the finished painting you derive personal satisfaction from producing something which is um, which has taken quite a long time, and then there's the uh, the piece where it maybe goes to a gallery. Um, hopefully, it sells, and it's back to that feeling which we talked about before of someone likes it enough to spend quite a lot of money on it and put it in their house where they see it every day, and that's a marvelous feeling. So there's yeah, so um, I think that probably covers the, 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 the gist of the question. But uh, yeah, personally, personally yeah. I'm in quite a happy place, I think, with the art. Yes, yes. You just said everything I wanted to say too. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I will need to say something else. But yeah, you are 100% right. Yeah. And why do you do them, the florals, in the this exact manner? How do you like to do them now? Why do you do them in this manner? So uh, it's an interesting thing. So I paint in layers, and I I like to finish a painting so that it looks good close up and from further back. It, it, it's just a thing that I I like. And we've all, you know, as artists, we've all been in a gallery or something. And you can tell the artists because the artists will put their reading glasses on and go and peer at it and look at the brush strokes like this. <laughs> and, um, you know, we scrutinise it up close and then further back. So you could argue that actually that painting, which is now I'm kind of starting the you know, the final layer where things start to pop and the blends 
become that much um, better. Uh, you, you could argue that, okay, that's done. Uh, but that wouldn't give me the sort of professional satisfaction that I get from finishing completely, even though it would be quite reasonable for someone to say, well, look, the time and effort between that stage and the end stage isn't worth it. Um, and they might have a point, if I'm honest. <laughs> but I just like doing it that way. Because the final product is smooth, it, you know, it, it has a delicacy to it, um, and I derive quite a lot of, sort of personal satisfaction from producing work that way. So, yeah, yeah, I spend longer on work probably than um, I should, if you wanted to argue it from a pure business perspective. But then it's not. It's you're an artist, and you you do what you need to do inside, and that's how I look at it, really. Yeah. Yes, I completely agree with you. Uh, if you do the artwork, you better do it in the way that makes you happy and that you feel it's complete and finished. And I'm I'm the that person that also cannot stop until I feel now it's the end. I I yeah. can't stop before. If I don't feel the painting is right, I can't say it's it's done. It's finished. Yeah, because it just doesn't feel right. I agree. And so, someone asked me once um, in a chat. I was talking on talking on Instagram, and they said to me, "Well, how do you know when a painting's finished?" Oh, well, that is a really good question. And and my short answer to it was, "It's finished when you sell it, or it's varnished." Because until that point. You might yeah. you, you can still tinker with it, and, and I know artists that have had a, that have had work, a painting for ten years, um, amongst their other works, and looked at it and gone, "I'm going to rework that. I can make that look much better now because they're that much further down the, the yeah. their journey, um, and they have, and it's worked really well. So I I don't think a painting's finished until it's sold or you varnish it. <laughs> Great and. How how uh, do your paintings, the one you produce now, bring you joy? Um, well, I guess it's part of the same uh, piece that we've just talked about, really. But yeah, a lot of joy just in coming into the studio and enjoying the process, just enjoying the art for what it is. Um, that brings me quite a lot of joy. Um, and and then sharing it, you know, if you share your yeah. work and people see it and like it yeah. and want to buy it or want to buy a print of it. That's in various ways, that sort of validation of, of your, yeah. of your work. Um, I'm not saying that's the only validation and it, and it, 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 it shouldn't ever be in my view because the, yeah. it's got to come from within, but it's, it's a really nice thing, whether it's from, you know, friends or family or from a stranger who sees it in a gallery or, or whatever. It's um, it's a lovely thing. So that that yeah. sort of external validation, and I guess whatever artists say, you know, we all wait, we all like a bit of that. You know, it's just nice for to hear that someone else looks at something and finds it visually appealing, something we've created. So I, I that's that's always a nice thing. Yes, I agree completely with you. Thank you, Steve, and we will be chatting soon again with another topic and I invite all our friends who are watching or our followers or our subscribers on YouTube and on Instagram to put their comments uh, so that we can also know something about you, <laughs> not just you about us, so that we also can, uh, you can also share with us and we get to know you a little bit. I, yeah, that great, Vesna, and I look forward to the next the next video. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Bye.